How can we tell different minerals apart? A mineral is a naturally existing solid substance that has a specific structure and composition. Scientists have a variety of physical attributes they use to distinguish between different rocks and minerals. These characteristics include color, hardness, the color of their streak, how transparent they are, their luster, the way they break or cleave, how they fracture, their specific gravity, and their crystal form or structure. The formation process of a mineral dictates its properties. Rocks can be made up of one or many minerals. Since it's common for rocks to comprise different minerals, it can be quite challenging to differentiate them. However, the types of minerals present in a rock can give us clues. Granite, for instance, is composed of minerals such as feldspar, mica, hornblende, and quartz. Color is often the first property we notice when identifying rocks. Some minerals always have the same color, which simplifies their identification. For example, malachite is always green, but certain rocks, like quartz, can undergo chemical changes that alter their color. When pure, quartz is clear, but when iron traces are present, it transforms into a purple color known as amethyst. The hardness of rocks is classified using the Mohs hardness scale, as displayed in this diagram. You can test the hardness of a mineral by trying to scratch it with another mineral. A harder mineral will scratch a softer one. This principle was used by Friedrich Mohs, a German mineralogist, in 1822 to develop a scale of hardness. The Mohs' hardness scale ranks 10 minerals from the softest to the hardest, with one being the softest and 10 the hardest. The streak of a mineral refers to its color when it's rubbed across a white porcelain tile that isn't glazed. It can also be determined by grinding the mineral into a powder. Interestingly, quartz, whether it's a purple amethyst, a pink rose quartz, or a brown smoky quartz, will always leave a white streak. The transparency property describes the extent to which a mineral allows light to pass through. There are three levels of transparency. Transparent, translucent, and opaque. Transparent minerals let you see through them. Some light can pass through translucent minerals, but you can't see through them. No light can pass through an opaque mineral. Luster, another property, is the way a mineral reflects light. It can appear shiny, dull, silky, or glassy. This property should be observed on a freshly cut piece of rock. The way a mineral breaks can be either by cleavage or fracture. This can happen in two or more directions. Some common forms include cubic, rhombohedral, six-sided prism, and basal, along a plane parallel to the mineral's base, cleavages. Not all minerals cleave easily, some fracture. Fractures can take forms such as conchoidal, a shell-like fracture with a smooth curved surface, fibrous or splintery, rough or jagged, and uneven or irregular. Specific gravity measures a mineral's density. Even if minerals are of the same size, some are heavier than others. The structure or crystal form of minerals is another distinguishing factor. This refers to the arrangement of molecules. It could belong to one of six crystal system forms or seem like large pieces or sections are bonded together. When trying to identify rocks, a rock field guide can be a very helpful tool. It allows you to compare the physical properties of various rocks and minerals.